Hey, Michael McWhorter. Nick Robinson. It has been a while since I've heard that old, that old classic Sega chime. But what are we looking at here today? Uh, this is Sonic Mania. This is the new 2D, uh, old school style Sonic the Hedgehog platformer that Sega announced last week at San Diego Comic Con. Yeah, and if I'm if I'm not mistaken, you actually got the chance to go hands on with this game. Is that right? Yeah, I, I did. I, I messed around with it for a few minutes. Um, this is me playing right here, uh, back in the old Green Hill Zone. Uh, yeah, you may so remember. Let's- Let's talk about this, because this is sort of Green Hill Zone as we remember it. Like, for the first half of this video, I thought it was almost exactly the same, but there's a lot of uh, small, strange changes. So this game is, like, a project uh, that is being worked on by uh, Christian Whitehead. Is that his name? The yes, that's Taxman right. guy? Yep. He's the dude who's been responsible for all the really, really incredible, like, 16x9, perfect, beautiful Sonic 1 and 2 remasters that have come out over the past couple years. Uh and, and this game is like kind of a weird, I, I get the sense that it's, there's new content here, like all new stages and all new levels, but also these sort of remixed, mashed up versions of existing Sonic stages. Yeah, that's exactly right. And, you know, I'm, I can't really say what the major differences are here in the, in, uh, between this and the original Green Hill Zone. It kind of just looks like what I remember it looking like. Right. Although, like, you getting a fire shield from Sonic 3 and Knuckles is definitely one yeah. <laughs> one major difference. Um, there's there's a lot of, like, little things like that. You've also got, like, the spin dash, obviously, and then that new drop dash move that they, they showed off in that trailer. Yeah, uh, you know, I, I actually spoke to Christian Whitehead for just a few minutes um, while, uh, you know, after they had announced the game, and he kind of talked to me a little bit about what the goals were. Uh, but basically, he was saying that, like, you know, what if we made a Sonic the Hedgehog platformer for Sega Saturn hardware? Um, <laughs> okay, all right. Yeah, cool. and so that means, like, you know, 60 frames per second, like, increased animation. Um, yeah, you know. I love that you stopped there to check out the different animations for like standing on a ledge and making sure the foot tap was still there. Well, yeah, I wanted to see if they, you know, I wanted to see if they'd mix things up a little bit. It's it's so funny too because the the Sega that existed during the Saturn era wasn't really interested in what if we used this hardware to make a beautiful, perfect, like nice looking uh, 2D Sonic game. They were like, as like everyone was in that era, they wanted to do something 3D for the most part, and this is like. This feels very much like an exploration. Of that. Like you can see little things too, like the ring animations are these beautiful 60 mm. FPS rotations, and yeah. like, um, and here's another major difference uh, right off the bat is that there's a. I mean, I don't know if this is the final way it'll be laid out. Obviously, this is a demo for Comic Con, but here's a boss battle at the end of an Act One, which is pretty non-standard. I feel like. Right, and it's, and it's not a, a boss battle that I'm familiar with. Uh, no, this is not a, from a the original Sonic. It shares some of the kind of the swinging pendulum stuff from Green Hill Zone, but then like, mm-hmm. yeah, there's, there's so much getting a getting an item box at the end of a level Sonic Three and Knuckles style. There's just like it's this really weird, kind of fascinating blend of the first three, or I guess the first four mainline Sonic games that I feel like you couldn't make if you weren't the biggest Sonic fan in the world. Yeah, I, I feel like that this is just the kind of game that um, you know when people say they want a 2D platforming Sonic game, that this is actually what they're looking for. You know, yes. they're basically looking for somebody to 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 hit all the good nostalgia notes, but then give them something new. Uh, and so, like this section that we're looking at right now, which is called Studioopolis, is kind of like the classic Casino Zone Sonic the Hedgehog stuff, but with a little bit of like Hollywood, you know, Japanese flair. Uh, yeah, it, it, it's really, it's really weird. It's it's almost reminiscent of like I guess Mega Man Nine in terms of they, this painstakingly authentic, like almost feels right. like somebody discovered a lost Sonic game or something. Yeah, um, uh, yeah, totally. And and it, I've noticed like like in editing this footage together, I've just found like there's so many weird little references to like Sonic lore and Sonic culture. There's like a, a moment coming up in a little bit where he goes in a popcorn machine, and it's right. like. The Sega Sonic popcorn maker that actually physically existed in Japan. That it just like there's so much love and, and affection for for the this era of Sonic in this game. And as somebody who really loved those first few games and has kind of fallen off the franchise in a big way, I the more I watch this, the more excited I get that this is like kind of what I've been asking for. Yeah, it's that kind of stuff. Those deep cuts that I think is going to be the most interesting thing for Sonic fans. And, uh, you know, I, I think it'll be really interesting to see how people respond to this. And, you know, I was just reading a thread somewhere where somebody was talking about how I went back and played the original Sonic the Hedgehog and it, it wasn't that great. Mm-hmm. Um, and it, it'll be interesting to see how they kind of modernize this and, and you know, uh, you know, kind of tap into people's memories of what Sonic is and, and give them something just slightly different, slightly better. Yeah, it, it's it's really interesting to me because I feel like this is also the one thing Sega hasn't tried, right? Like, 
Right. Sonic 4 was them getting 70 to 80% of the way towards this, and this is them just being like, all right, what if we did literally exactly what people say they want? Let's find out if this is actually what people are interested in or not, if there's demand for it, if it's if it's something people are so interested in playing. But like, I don't know, watching this footage as somebody who has played Sonic 3 and Knuckles an embarrassing number of times, I... So far, I'm like so on board with this. It's it's ridiculous. It's it's ch tapping into like the the version of me that's still in there that was like a nine year old kid running a Sonic the Hedgehog GeoCities fan page that I had almost forgotten was in there. It's it's a very good feeling. Yeah, uh, you know, just playing it. By the way, since we haven't really talked about that too much, uh, yeah. I mean, it plays exactly like what you think a Sonic the Hedgehog game is gonna play like too, with all of its kind of like it's like warts and all. You know, it's right. It's got that kind of like not quite perfect, not quite polished platforming. Sonic controls just the way you expect him to, mm -hmm. and uh, yeah, I, I I was I was impressed. I mean, it also just looks really beautiful. It's too. beautiful, yeah. I mean, it's funny you mentioned like the the movement and the controls and the momentum, and, and Sonic definitely the old Sonic games had that kind of stop and start thing to them, but. Uh, I feel like the problem with so many of the modernizations of 2D Sonic, like Sonic 4, Sonic 4 Episode 2, Sonic Generations also had this problem, I think. The the momentum never felt right. Like, it just, the controls yeah. weren't there for me. It didn't feel like what I think of Sonic then. Like, in this, if, if what I'm seeing can be believed and what you're saying is true, seems to feel the way I want a Sonic game to feel, which is extremely exciting. Yeah, um, and uh, it, I think it's a good, you know, uh, answer. I, I also like that there's a, a Hornet... Uh, Truck there, which is, I'm, I'm assuming, is a is a reference to Daytona USA. Right, and there's also like when he gets in the Hornet truck, the sound effect is like a Sonic spin ball sound effect when you get into one of the little launcher things. There's oh, just there's great. so much, so many little affectionate touches there. I, it's almost a bummer that the name Sonic Four was already taken <laughs> because this is a way better Sonic Four than Sonic Four was based on what we've seen so far. Um, yeah, did you it, did you get a sense if there's any like ex bonus zones or like in any of that stuff like any special stages that that there are to to explore? Uh, you mean kind of like those like uh, 3D style stages that were in other Sonic games? Yeah, like I, I'm curious what would happen if you hit a checkpoint with with 50 rings or if you jump through a hoop at the end of the stage. Like seeing what they pick and choose is is kind of the most interesting part of this project to me. Yeah, I didn't see any of that, but as as you can tell by some of my performance here, like I I didn't really play super well. Uh, hmm. Well, there you go. Um, <clears throat> I, I would imagine that's going to be in there, considering how slavish they're being to all these like uh, like nods to classic Sonic games. Um, so I'm really not worried about that. Uh, I'm sure it'll be in there, but the, the, really the only things they showed were those two levels at Comic Con. Awesome, cool. Well, I'm I'm super excited to get hands on this game. This is coming next year, right? Yeah, early 2017. All right, awesome. I am super looking forward to getting my hands on this. Thanks, Michael. Thanks, Nick.